everyone. Welcome to English for You. I'm Kat. I'm Chickling. And as you might have guessed, today we are talking about something to do with Hawaii. Oh. Yes. So Hawaii is a beautiful,、mm. beautiful state、right. and series of islands. So yeah, what do you know about Hawaii? Well, it's an Island, maybe it's several islands. Yeah, several yes. islands, and I've I've always wanted to go there, but I never got a chance. Oh, you definitely have you、should. been there three times. Oh wow! Yeah, how was your experience?、Uh, I love it. Every time I go, <laughs> I love it. I've been to three different islands.、Mm-hmm. So I went to Maui, the big island, which is okay, Hawaii,、Maui. and、mm-hmm. Kauai. So they all have different atmospheres.、Mm-hmm. Like the big island is very、mm-hmm. adventurous. Maui is kind of laid back. Kauai is very laid back.、Mm-hmm. So you just chill on the beach and. They surprisingly have like wild chickens there. Oh wow! Yeah,、okay. so they, there's a lot of interesting stuff about Hawaii. Oh okay. But I think one of the things people know the most about it is、oh. those flower necklaces、oh, they wear.、Right. Mm-hmm. Do you know those? Yeah, I've seen pictures of them. Yeah, so, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to talk about lady. So let's go see what we're talking about in the article. Reading. Put on a string of flowers and celebrate Lei Day. Hawaii is the 50th U.S. state, and it's located far away from the rest of the country. Its Polynesian culture has different traditions from those of other states. For instance, people in Hawaii celebrate Lei Day every year on May 1st. Lei Day is all about the brightly colored blossoms that grow on the Hawaiian islands. People take part in it by making colorful flower necklaces called leis and giving them to one another. Giving someone a lei is an earnest and meaningful act of friendship in Hawaiian culture. It's also common for visitors to receive leis at the airport as a gesture of welcome. What's more, each island has its own special color. On the island of Hawaii. The biggest of the state's eight main islands, the flowers are red. Meanwhile, people from the island of Oahu wear yellow ones. Oahu was the first island to celebrate the holiday in 1927, but the other islands quickly adopted it. In addition to wearing leis, people sing special songs and perform Hawaii's traditional hula dance. It's a day for people there to take pride in their Hawaiian heritage. All right, so our article starts out today talking about Hawaii. Hawaii is the 50th U.S. state. That means it's the last one, and it's located far away from the rest of the country. That is true. I think、mm. it takes about seven or eight hours to fly there from California.、Oh, yeah, right. So we can see Hawaii Island. It's a state. It's the 50th state in the United States, and it's located far away from the rest of the country. And next, the article says its Polynesian culture has different traditions from those of other states. So, this means the Polynesian culture is different from the rest of the country. So, this means the Polynesian culture is different from the rest of the country. 波利尼西亚的文化 ，sorry， 是波利尼西亚。哦<笑>、oh, ，so Polynesia， yeah， so Polynesian culture is the culture of the islands in the、mm-hmm. South and Middle Pacific, where、mm-hmm. people do things like they do hula. They、oh, are from、okay. like I don't know, like Samoa, Tonga, Fiji.、Um, I think Maori and New Zealand are also Polynesian. They might be Austro- Austronesian,、yeah. but anyway, Hawaiian people are also Polynesian, <laughs> so they have very, very different traditions. For instance, people in Hawaii celebrate Lei Day every year on May first. So not only May Day, but Lei Day. <laughs> okay, so I mean, we see this phrase. For instance, this is just for example. The meaning is just for example. So, we see this phrase. For instance, this is just for example. The meaning is just for example. So, we see this phrase. For instance, this is just for example. The meaning is just for example. 例如呢，夏威夷的人会在每年的五月一号庆祝华环节哦，就是 Lei Day。Lei Day、mm.。So Lei Day is all about the brightly colored blossoms that grow on the Hawaiian islands. Yeah, they have a lot of flowers、mm-hmm. there. That's true, and that's what <laughs> blossoms means. So blossoms are flowers. We use this word <laughs> blossoms particularly to talk about flowers that open up really big and beautiful in the spring, 
And actually, they're specifically flowers that come from seed plants、mm -hmm. or trees. So, like if you're talking about a bulb plant, like a tulip or a daffodil,、mm -hmm. those are not. Blossoms.、Mm -hmm. So blossoms usually are like apple, cherry,、um, other things like that. So they usually turn into fruits, peach and plum, or other kinds of blossoms, especially ones you see over here in Asia. You can also say blooms. That's、mm. another word for flowers. Usually big, big flowers,、mm -hmm. or just flowers. But blossoms is more of a pretty、yeah. sounding word. So an example sentence might be: I couldn't help but stare at the hundreds of pink cherry blossoms in the trees over my head. Probably in Japan, right? <laughs> okay, we look at blossom. This word, this is flower's meaning. That teacher just mentioned this word is a fruit flower. That we say like a rose flower, we can say cherry blossom or plum blossom. Cherry blossom is plum, and rose is plum. Plum. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So you can say the peach tree is in blossom. Okay, so if you open the flower, you can say be in blossom. So Tree is beginning to blossom. 好，这是要开始开花喽。And 老师刚刚有讲到另外一个字 bloom， 这个就是指花朵的意思。那它比较像是观赏的花，像是玫瑰，或老师刚刚讲到郁金香之类的。所以你可以说 the roses are in full bloom。这个玫瑰已经盛开了。那么 bloom 也可以当动词，也就是绽放开花的意思。譬如说 our yard bloomed after the rain、oh,。That sounds nice. You step、yeah. outside and suddenly all these flowers are.、Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think bloom kind of sounds like what flowers do.、Right? Bloom. Anyway, <laughs> so back to the article. People take part in it.、Mm -hmm. It being Lay Day, by making colorful flower necklaces called lays、oh. and giving them to one another. So if I say Happy Lay Day,、Yay. give you a lay. <laughs> yeah. So necklace here, as you might have guessed, is like a piece of jewelry. It goes around your neck. It hangs、mm -hmm. down your chest. Usually necklaces are long. So if they're tied around your neck, that's called a choker.、Mm -hmm. So a necklace usually is longer, hangs down. So a, a flower、mm -hmm. necklace is called a lei. Necklaces often have pretty stones or designs、mm -hmm. hanging on the ends of them. So you can like have a chain, and then you have something hanging on the end. Lei's、mm -hmm. are a necklace made of flowers.、Mm -hmm. So if you want to know other kinds of jewelry, if you have jewelry for your wrist. It's called a bracelet. You have it for your finger. That's a ring. <laughs> And if you have it for your ears, those are earrings.、Mm -hmm. Earrings. So an example sentence for necklace: My mother gave me this necklace for my tenth birthday. The heart it holds has a picture of her and me inside. 好，那我们来看一下项链这一个字 necklace。那么如果是钻石项链呢，我们在前面加钻石 diamond 就好了，所以就是 diamond necklace。那么如果是珍珠项链呢，就是 pearl pearl necklace。好，那你就可以说 He bought his wife a pearl necklace for her birthday. 他买了一条很漂亮的珍珠项链给他的老婆。好，那我们这边看到 take part in， 所以 to take part in something means to participate in something， 就是参与的意思。所以呢， we know that people in Hawaii participate in Lay Day by making flower necklaces。好，那我们就可以造一个例句，你可以说 I took part in many school activities when I was in high school。Yeah, so on lay days, then、uh, you know it's a big deal to give people a lay, a flower、oh. necklace. So the article says giving someone a lay is an earnest and meaningful act of friendship in Hawaiian culture.、Mm. So when we say something is earnest, it means you're very sincere, you're honest about how you feel.、Mm -hmm. Meaningful is a, a word saying that something carries a lot of meaning. It's full of meaning. It's meaningful. But it also means it carries a lot of importance. It's not something you would do or say without really caring about what you're doing or saying. So when you do it, it's a symbol of something important, and it shows you are very serious or that you really want to communicate something、right. meaningful. <laughs> It's usually usually meaningful means something positive.、Mm. So if somebody does a meaningful thing for you, you feel honored, you feel、Aww. complimented. You like, oh my gosh, thank you so much.、Mm. I can't believe you you did this for me.、Mm. So an example sentence might be: This movie is very meaningful to me because watching it helped me through some hard times in my childhood. So yeah, that means、mm. the movie is very important to you. 嗯，好，我们看一下 meaningful 这一个字，很好记的是呢，嗯，你后面你看一下 meaning 就是意思 ，f u l 就是有
比较像充满，就它会变成一个呃、嗯、形容词，所以 meaningful 这样就觉得充满意义，所以就是意思就是意味深长的，或者是表达很明确的都是可以的。那么如果呢，它的相反呢， the opposite is meaningless， 就代表哇、哦、一点意义都没有，没有什么意思，没意义的。好，那我们可以造一个句子， life without love。Is meaningless. That's for sure. Okay, yeah. And then we look at Ernest. So Ernest's first word is serious, serious. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe someone or something as being earnest, they express sincerity. Okay, that's for sure. So when we describe Aloha, yeah. <laughs> so aloha has more meanings than just hello. Yeah, it also means like a welcoming feeling.、Mm. Anyway, the article says it's also common for visitors to receive lays at the airport as a gesture of welcome. So yeah, that's the spirit of Hawaii. It's、mm. this welcoming place. When we talk about a gesture of welcome or a gesture at all, that means an action that shows a message, whether it's towards somebody else or just something you do instead of talking. So, like if you do something to show you trust somebody else, that's called a gesture of good faith. Like if you lend somebody money and say, "I know you'll pay me back, so just you know take it now and then pay me back later," that's a gesture of good faith. Now, gestures you do instead of talking to communicate might be something like shrug, wave, beckon. Point at something, shake your fist. Those are all gestures that show different meanings. Now, here when we say a gesture of welcome, that means it's a meaningful action that shows the message of being welcoming. So, an example sentence might be: As a gesture of gratitude, that means thankfulness for the girl's hard work on his garden, Mr. Lee bought them both ice cream at the end of the day. 好，我们来看一下 gesture。所以老师刚刚讲 gesture 就是姿态或者是一个姿势、手势、表示都是可以的。所以我们知道说，访客呢在机场啊收到花环是很常见的。这个是夏威夷人对访客的欢迎哦。那么 gesture you can use it as a verb， which means to show or express or direct by gestures。所以我们造一个句子。She gestured in the direction of the train station when we asked her where the ladies' room was. Oh yes, yeah. So actually,、mm -hmm. there's a, a sort of an interesting Hawaiian gesture、mm -hmm. that、uh, they、oh, really? do there、mm -hmm. to mean like、mm -hmm. good vibes or good feelings. It's actually this. Oh, okay. You know the six hand. They call it a shaka. Oh, sure. So it's、oh, called.、Here? You say you say hang loose, and that means like it's a it's a good vibe. They're telling、oh, you、okay. like, hey, have a have a nice day. That kind of feeling. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, going back to the article, we're talking about <laughs> lays again. What's more, each island has its own special. Special color. That's interesting. Oh, um. So we know that, hey, every island has its own special color. And on the island of Hawaii, the biggest of the state's eight main islands, the flowers are red.、Mm. Oh, so in the Hawaii Island, which is the main island of the eight main islands, the main island of the state, they use the color red. Oh, I didn't know that.、Mm. Yeah, interesting. So anyway, the article goes on to say, meanwhile, people from the island of Oahu. Wear yellow ones. Okay. Oh, okay. So we know that the Hawaiian Islanders use red. So the Hawaiian Islanders wear yellow ones. 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 So the Hawaiian Islanders Hmm, I can see that being the case because Oahu、mm -hmm. is actually where the capital Honolulu、mm -hmm. is. Oh, okay. Yeah,、mm -hmm. so maybe it was the most international, and they were like, "Hey, let's show people our lays." Oh, yeah. 好，那我们刚刚在句型看到什么呢？这边就是关系代名词的先行词，然后里面呢有序数，就是序数是什么 ？Ordinal numbers， 就是 the first。The last or the second, the third, 之类的。好，那我们关系代名词会用 that。我们也可以把关系代名词的 that 加上动词改成不定词 to v。所以如果呢先行词是人的话，可以将 that 改成嗯 to。所以，我们句型代换可以变成这个。我们先看一下句子里面刚老师讲到的。他说呢，欧胡岛，所以 Oahu was the first island to celebrate the holiday。好，那我们就知道，他是说 was the first island to。那我们怎么怎么改呢？我们可以变成 Oahu was the first island that celebrated the holiday。
，这样就 OK 喽。嗯哼，好，那么再看一个例句好了。The first person that finishes the race will win the medal. Oh, ah, 那我们怎么改呢 ？The first person to finish the race will win a medal. Oh,、yeah, okay, get that medal. All、mm-hmm. right. And so we talked about yeah, we we saw the word right. Adopt. Yes. yes. So Oahu adopted. Well, no, the other islands adopted the day from Oahu.、Uh-huh, so、right. adopt、mm-hmm. means to yeah. Well, it can sometimes mean something different. So one of the meanings you might know is to take a child into your family that you didn't give birth. To or bring a pet into your family, but here it means more like to make something part of your life or your culture or your habits that you got from somewhere else. So if you see the idea and you're like, I really like that, I want to make it part of my culture, then you adopt it into your culture and you start doing it for yourself. So the people on Oahu started Lei Day, but the other islands took it too. So they adopted it.、Mm. So another example might be adopting a habit. I adopted the habit last year of recording all my important tasks in an online calendar, and now I'm much more organized than before. 我们看一下 adopt 这一个字啊，这边一般来说我们是指领养的意思。不过我们在我们的文章中是采用跟采取，所以我们知道欧胡岛呢其实是第一个开始庆祝花环节的岛，并且在一九二七年的时候就开始喽。那么在那之后呢，其他岛啊也都陆陆续续很快的采用这一个习俗。好，那我们刚刚说 adopt 可以当领养，刚刚 Kat 老师也有提到，那我们造一个例句。The adopted child is now living a happy life with his new family. 那么另外一个类似的字是 foster。那么 foster 这个字是呃，你是也可以当动词，那是收养、代养的意思。So when you foster a kid, that means you take care of that kid, and usually for a limited time. But you're not the child's legal parent. But when you adopt a child, you have legal guardianship of them. 所以呢 ，foster 比较像是暂时领养一个呃。保护一个小孩，照顾一个小孩，比较不像 adopt。通常你就变成他们真正的父母亲了。All right, so going back to talking about Lay Day. In addition to wearing leis, people sing special songs and perform Hawaii's traditional hula dance. Wow. Yeah, have you ever seen a hula? No. Oh, it's beautiful. Hula is the traditional Hawaiian dance where、mm-hmm. the hand and body gestures are used、so、to tell a story. So you know how to do it, right? No, I know what it looks like, but I can't、okay. do it because the hand gestures are very specific to telling like a story.、Oh, yeah, so、okay. they they set it to music that's in the Hawaiian language. It's apparently really really difficult to master because you have to constantly bend your knees and your top half has、oh. to stay still while your hips are moving. <laughs>、okay. Yeah, but it's very beautiful to watch. And I if you go, I've seen videos of them. Yeah, yeah, if you go to Hawaii, they actually have like a a, a competition, like a worldwide competition, and for the, the dance. Yeah.、Oh. So both men and women do it. They have different styles, but yeah, it's really cool. So、Ooh. go watch a hula video. It's really, it's really cool. Okay, I'll check that out. So we can see in addition to is 除此之外，那它是可以当 as well as 也是可以。所以除了戴花环以外呢，人们也会唱歌啊，或者是表演。老师刚刚说那个 hula dance， 就是他们的传统的草裙舞。Yeah. So yeah, they basically take Hawaiian cultural pride. It's a day for people there to take pride in their Hawaiian heritage,、mm. for sure. So pride is like a feeling of being proud.、Mm. Pride and proud are the same kind of word, saying this part of me or this part of my culture or my country or my family or me. Is great, and I want to show it to the world, and I want to tell people, look how great this is. <laughs> so pride can be bad if you have too much of it, or if you have it for the wrong reasons. But、mm-hmm. it's important to be proud of the good things you've done and the beautiful parts of your culture, like leis and hula and Hawaiian language and songs.、Mm. So yeah, as a verb phrase, if you say pride, you want to say take pride in something. So I take pride in my culture. I take pride in my ability to do something.、Mm-hmm. Can also mean you do something so well that you can be proud of it. So like I take pride in this cake that I made. <laughs> Another example might be Sabrina started her baking business from the ground up. That means from nothing, and she、mm-hmm. takes pride in every one of her cakes and cookies. So she does it too. Perfection. 嗯，好，那我们看一下 pride 这个意呃这个字，它是骄傲得意的意思。有没有觉得它长得很像 proud？ 所以它它这边是名词，只是 proud 是那个 adjective 或是形容词哦。好，那我们看另外一个片语 to swallow one's pride. So when someone swallows their pride or his or her pride, that means、mm-hmm. they decide to do something that will make them feel a little ashamed or embarrassed. Yeah. 就是呃有一点像是吞下一个。
吞下 ，Oh my goodness, how to translate that? Yeah, that's okay. We will take a sentence, 好不好？没关系。Yeah. 吞下你的自尊，所以可能你要做一件让你有一点，呃，觉得有点不好意思、尴尬的事情。我们先造一个句子好了。It's always hard for Charlotte to swallow her pride and ask for help. 呃、mm. uh, ，代表 asking for help might be a little embarrassing for her. Yeah. Or apologizing <laughs> after you after you you know did something mean. Right.、Yeah. Right. Okay. 那我们看一下 heritage， 这边是遗产的意思。Anything that's being handed down by tradition or from the past.、Mm-hmm. 好，那我们常见的 World Heritage Site 就是世界遗产。所以庆祝花环节呢，可以让夏威人为自己的文化遗产感到非常的自豪。Yeah. So heritage sites, there's all sorts of them around the world, like、mm-hmm. sites that are important from the past, still important today because we want to remember our history.、Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's all we've got <laughs> to say about Lei Day. Maybe you can go. To Hawaii and experience it for yourself. Even if you go when it's not Lei Day, you can definitely get a real taste of Hawaiian culture because there's all sorts of things you can do there, and Hawaiians are really proud of their culture and where they come from. So、mm-hmm. it's a really unique experience to、mm-hmm. go to Hawaii. Right? Don't forget to invite me when you want to go. Yeah, for <laughs> I sure. haven't been there. Invite her or invite me too. But I'll yeah,、um, I've been before, so it's, okay. Anyway, that's the end of our article. So we're gonna say aloha again, which means goodbye. Also, and we're going to go to our for you chat. For you chat. All right, we are back with our for you chat. The question today is: Flowers are important to Lei Day. Can you think of other holidays that involve flowers? Um, the first thing that popped into my head was Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, we give flowers. You can give、yeah. roses, maybe. For sure, I no, think I、yeah. would give my、Tulips. mom. Maybe yeah, or like just、Daisies. some nice spring flowers, like lilies. Oh, lilies. Okay. Or carnations. I think yeah, carnations. Yeah, Taiwan they give carnations here. Yeah, I think carnations are a big one for Mother's Day.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Um, Anything else? Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's roses. Day. Roses. Red、coming? roses. Is it coming? Um, not anymore.、Oh, okay. Passed like a couple of months ago. <laughs> well, anyway. Okay. Yeah.、Um, let me think. Oh, Japanese flower viewing. They call that hanami in hanami? April. Okay. I think we also have it here. Yeah.、Okay. So lots of different holidays <laughs> that include flowers.、Others. I think any any spring holiday really.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's lots of holidays where you can see beautiful flowers.、Mm-hmm. You can just go to the park and see flowers anytime. But、right. Lei Day is pretty special because it's only in Polynesian countries like Hawaii.、Oh. So I guess that's all we have for today. And、flowers. we have to say thank you, which in Hawaiian is mahalo. Mahalo. Mahalo.、Okay. mahalo. So mahalo. we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Put on a string of flowers and celebrate Lei Day. Hawaii is the 50th U.S. state, and it's located far away from the rest of the country. Its Polynesian culture has different traditions from those of other states. For instance, people in Hawaii celebrate Lei Day every year on May 1st. Lei Day is all about the brightly colored blossoms that grow on the Hawaiian islands. People take part in it. By making colorful flower necklaces called leis and giving them to one another, giving someone a lei is an earnest and meaningful act of friendship in Hawaiian culture. It's also common for visitors to receive leis at the airport as a gesture of welcome. What's more, each island has its own special color. On the island of Hawaii, the biggest of the state's eight main islands. The flowers are red. Meanwhile, people from the island of Oahu wear yellow ones. Oahu was the first island to celebrate the holiday in 1927, but the other islands quickly adopted it. In addition to wearing leis, people sing special songs and perform Hawaii's traditional hula dance. It's a day for people there to take pride in their Hawaiian heritage. Vocabulary review. Blossom. The trees look beautiful in spring, with all their colorful blossoms on display. Necklace. 
Today, Marcia is wearing a beautiful necklace of beads around her neck. Meaningful. When Nancy helped Jenny during a difficult time in her life, Jenny realized they had a meaningful friendship. Gesture. Nick helped me study for my test, and as a gesture of thanks, I paid for his dinner. Adopt. We weren't selling much tea at our shop, so we had to adopt new methods of finding customers. Pride. After a long day of hiking. Kelly felt a sense of pride as she reached the top of the mountain. 智慧小补帖 Ernest, Hula, Heritage. 以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。